Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Um, just packing a bag here, getting ready to do my first uh, uh, pop-up camper winter maintenance. Uh, I haven't been to the pop-up camper uh, probably since about, uh, well, I guess Canadian Thanksgiving, which is um, October 14th. So I haven't been there in two and a half months. Reason number one, um, uh, we haven't had a lot of snow, so I didn't really, wasn't really worried about the roof shoveling it off. And um, reason number two, just really busy and, uh, you know, with things going on, uh, just didn't get to it. So hopefully the, the pop-up camper is okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm just packing a bag here and I'm ready to hit the road. It's about an hour and a half, two-hour drive. Uh, so I'm just going to show you a couple things here that I'm bringing. Uh, you know, number one, the crank here to crank it up, to open it up. That's a uh, key. Um uh, also bring some new damp traps uh, from the dollar store here. You can see they're only a buck twenty-five. This is going to uh, trap any ex excess moisture that's in there. So let's get those in the bag. Brought four of them. Probably overkill, but when it comes to your, you know, maintaining the pop-up, you have no such thing as overkill. Uh, I'm also going to bring some uh, extra bounce sheets here, dryer sheets. Um, you know, spread uh, four or five of these out around. Again, no such thing as overkill. Uh, got some uh, hand warmers here. Big whole bunch of them in case I need them. So this is the first time I'm packing this bag. It's kind of a survival bag when I go to the camper in the winter to, uh, to uh, you know, check on it. And then I'm also going to bring my... Uh, uh, I just put everything in these big Ziploc bags here. This is my inverter with all the wires I need in case I need to charge something while I'm there. I can plug this into my car, the 12 volt, plug stuff in or whatever, just in case, you know, get that in there. Then of course, uh, I'm bringing all my flashlights, uh, just in case, you know. And uh, of course, uh, very important, you know, I keep my keys in there uh, for the pop-up as well. You don't want to forget those, uh, uh, when you get there, you know, <laughs> so your keys in the crank are the most important So we'll throw that in the bag there. All right So I'm gonna pack up my stuff and uh, hit the road and uh, hopefully when we get there We can drive right in if there's not a lot of snow All right guys, I'm in the car here heading to the pop-up. It is a gorgeous morning. It is currently four degrees Celsius probably about uh, 38 Fahrenheit maybe anyway it's a beautiful morning as you can see there's not much snow on the ground so I'll probably be able to drive right into the pop-up no problem uh, it's a beautiful sunrise here just a beautiful gorgeous morning couldn't ask for anything better all right guys so uh, I'll uh, show you what the road looks like going in, see if I can drive in or not. So I'll see you then. So there's a little bit of snow on the road, but uh, I think I can get in. Oh, we're gonna find out. Hopefully I don't get stuck. I don't think so. See some tracks there, the neighbors are probably in. Let's see. Should I chance it and go down or not? Alright guys, I made it down. Uh, hopefully I can make it back up the hill. <laughs> I don't want to get stuck here on Christmas Eve. Uh, anyway, uh, there's the camper, not too much snow on it. So let's get out and take a look. 
So there it is, uh, not too much snow on top, which is good. Uh, just doing a visual inspection here. See, I have the cover over all of the uh, wires and everything. Uh, everything looks good. I'm gonna check the trap in here. And there's nothing, which is a good sign. Oh, I accidentally left that on. Anyway, it's okay. The tires are good. Nothing nesting out in the hole there. Here we go. Actually, this year I have a uh, one of these uh, one of these uh, uh, snow uh, removal uh, rakes. They call them for uh, for roofs. I'm just going to use that instead. It may work a lot better. All right. So, going to get the snow off the roof here and uh, jack it up. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention that I forgot to do in the spring. I got to lower this side so all the rain comes down here off of this side here uh, we're supposed to get about 40 to 60 millimeters of rain tonight and tomorrow so I'm gonna get this snow off open up the camper and uh, see uh, what's happening inside all right guys so I got the uh, the uh, roof taken care of I got this side down uh, I really recommend getting one of those uh, uh, snow rakes. Uh, did a fantastic job, really quick too. A lot easier on the back. It just literally took me two minutes. All right, so let's climb inside. Hopefully, nothing's happening. All right. Oh, I forgot to mention. Go back out here. Uh, I forgot to mention. Uh, I just jack it up a little bit, just enough to open the door to get in, to crawl inside here. Because uh, you don't want anything happening in the cold weather. Uh, plus it hasn't been opened in two and a half months, so... Uh, yeah, I just jack it up slowly, just a little bit, just so I can crawl inside. If something happens, you know, you can get away with maybe tarping this or whatever, but if you have it all the way up in the air, something happens to your system in the winter, you're screwed. So let's go inside. Okay, that's a clear mesh trap. That's good. Uh, see, I have the fridge open here. I'm trying to find the other mesh traps. I'm not really sure where they are. Okay. See, I keep something to hold the fridge open so it doesn't smell. Here's another mouse trap. That's two. That's three. So that's good news. It smells of uh, dryer sheets in here, which is a good thing. That's probably what kept the mice away. I thought I had four mouse traps. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> I just set it off. Okay. Anyway, that's good. Zero mice. Um, no damage. And, uh, you know, the dryer sheets uh, do their thing, I think. I really think that's the key, is the dryer sheets. All right, so let's get uh, all the new stuff put in here. All right, guys, so uh, I uh, didn't have to uh, rebate the traps. Uh, they're fine. I actually forgot the uh, peanut butter anyway, so... So I got some... Uh, Damp traps here, new damp traps. One, two, three, and then I put one inside this, uh, under here too, inside this cabinet. Uh, so that's four, is it overkill? Probably. Also put some new bounce dryer sheets down here and there, uh, just to uh, get the smell going, put a couple up there. So that's it, good news. Nothing is happening in here. So as I make my way out of the camper, I'm gonna leave all the doors open 
in case, uh, you know, the mice get in here, they can come find their way to the traps. All right, so let's close this sucker up and uh, get the hell out of here. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe. If you uh, like the video, smash that little thumbs up button. I appreciate the support. Um, if you want to leave comments below, I'll try to keep the videos coming, even though it's winter. Probably just more, uh, you know, uh, camper winter maintenance when I can. Merry Christmas to all. Happy New Year. Until next time.